Hello friends, uh, in this video, uh, we are going to take a look at how to display uh, output uh, in C programming language. So first of all, uh, uh, you must have seen, okay, that uh, there is a very common function, okay, that is used, okay, in almost any piece of code and that is printf. So printf is a function, okay, we will discuss this function and uh, say, I'll, I'll first give an example of how printf is used. So printf, hello world, backslash n, okay, very simple example of hello world. Let's save our program and let's run it. So you see, hello world is getting printed to the uh, to the console, right? So now uh, what is happening is uh, this printf is actually a function which is defined in standard input output dot h header file. And we are directly using this function because this is a very common function. Okay, so we don't want to, you know, continuously keep writing uh, the code, okay, to print the output to the screen. Okay, so we can directly make use of this function, okay, from this particular header file. It is defined in this header file. And what it does is, so as you can see, I have written here uh, the format of this function. So uh, it's int printf const care pointer point, uh, pointer format. So now printf is a function, okay, and it uh, its return type is an integer, okay. So it is going to return an integer. And what are the arguments of this function printf? So it's a const care pointer. Uh, format. So, uh, so as you can see in this example where we are writing hello world backslash n. So whatever is inside the double quotes. Okay. So uh, that will be printed to the screen. Okay. That will be printed to the uh, standard output. Okay. In our case, the standard output is nothing but the command line. Okay. So whatever we are going to put inside the double quotes. Okay. That's actually a string. Okay. You can say that we are passing a string and that string is going to get printed. Okay. Now, how you format this string depends on you. So for example, I am, uh, I am putting hello world. Okay. So hello is, uh, so hello world is made up of characters and these are printable uh, items. Okay. So they are going to get printed. Uh, if you notice, I have backslash n also, right? So this is a escape sequence, right? So this is not going to be printed on the screen. It is non printable character. Okay. So it will not be print printed, but what will happen is after hello world, uh, it is going to uh, go to the new line. Okay, so it's a new line character. So it will print hello world and go to the new line. So now, for example, if I take a few more examples, suppose I have an integer int a is equal to 10 and I want to print uh, the value of a uh, on the uh, on the stand, uh, in the standard output, okay, which is uh, the command line. So what I will do is I will use printf, okay, and I'm going to do printf. And then inside this uh, double quote, so always remember that you have to use double quotes, okay? Whatever is inside the double quotes, that is going to be printed on the console. So suppose I write the value of a is equal to percent %d backslash n comma the value stored in a. So you have to give variable a. So now what is this doing? So what is inside the double quotes? So c the double quotes will not be printed. Okay. That is very clear. Okay. Whatever is inside the double quotes is going to get printed. Okay. Whatever string you provide inside double quotes that will go to the standard output. So now here we have the value of a is equal to percent %d. What is this percent %d? Percent %d is a format specifier. So whenever we have to use numbers, okay, in C programming language or any programming language, okay, you will have to use format specifiers. Okay. So right now uh, we are using an integer. So integer uh, you will use percent %d. Okay. So this will tell uh, the compiler that uh, it, uh, that uh, you have to print a integer. Okay. In place of percent %d. So now let me save it and we will try out a few more examples with different things. Uh, so let me save command s and let me run it. So now I am printing hello world and I am printing the value of a is equal to 10. Okay. So 10 whatever you give the argument over here. Okay. Uh, that will be picked up by the string. Okay. Now let's take another example. Uh, let's say float. Okay. Float is uh, decimal point numbers. Okay. So we will be covering uh, all these things. Okay. In variable types. Okay. But uh, just for example, okay. I'm just telling you right now. Uh, so float is, uh, it will show decimal point numbers. So I'll say int, uh, uh, sorry, float b is equal to 10.9. Okay. Semicolon. Uh, and also, uh, uh, you have to remember that uh, whenever you give a printf, okay, you have to end the statement, okay, with a semicolon, okay. Uh, 
so that the compiler knows that you know the printf has come to an end or for that matter any statement okay has to be ended with a semicolon okay so compiler knows that okay now that particular statement has come to an end now uh, let's say uh, we have to print this float variable so let's copy this line and so for float uh, so let's say the value of b is equal to and this person d was for integer okay for float okay we are going to use percent f okay and let's change this variable to b okay and now say command s and let me clear the screen okay and let's run it run so now you see it's saying hello world then it's printing the value of a is 10 then it's printing the value of b is 10.900 so uh, so additional zeros are added because uh, the format of float is right uh, how many decimal points uh, after uh, this decimal point how many points will be uh, printed right so that is already there uh, depending uh, on how the compiler works okay so so that is fine so we were able to print uh, the integer we were able to print the float okay and we were able to print a string now i will also tell you okay suppose i take a string okay so i have to print text so any kind of text okay if i have how do i print it so let's say um so before text i will tell you how to print a character so let's say character a is equal to so let's uh, save a character like this okay let's store a in this okay and now let us print the character so how will you print uh, the character so character will be like this a okay the value of a is equal to percent and in case of character you have to use percent c okay c is for character change this to c and do a command s and run the program some error has come okay so see we it's saying that error use of undeclared identifier c okay so we have used c but we have not declared c and initialized c so what you need to do is you this you see we took a variable a then we took a char variable a okay so this is wrong char c okay save it let's clear all the screen and let's run so hello world and then value of a is 10 value of b is 10.900 and value of a is equal to a okay fine so this is printing properly now if i have to print a string for example then I can take a character array, okay? So arrays and all we will discuss, but right now just take a look, okay, at how these things are printed. So character, so let me say my my string, okay? You have to give a name, okay? Uh, so whenever you are declaring an array, okay, you have to take a name and then you can say, suppose 10, uh, 10 characters uh, maximum can be present in your string, okay? So that means uh, you can have a smaller string, but maximum 10 okay characters beyond 10 you cannot have so let me say uh, hello okay and okay semicolon is missing fine so i have taken a string and now let us print the string how will you print the string so for printing the string okay you, uh, you will have to use a percent s so let's say percent s and let me put my array here okay and let's save our program let me clear this and let's run it so some error it is giving okay okay so i have taken my array here but i have taken my string okay we have to replace this with my string okay now it's not giving any error command s let's clear the console and let's run the program So now it's printing fine, right? Uh, all these values are fine. And now the string is also getting printed. Okay, the value of A is hello. All right. So this is how, okay, we are using printf, okay, to display output. Uh, now, one more thing, uh, let's come to this part. So where is this printf function? So printf function will be there in uh, standard input output dot h header file. Okay, so you have to always include this header file. And because it's very common function, okay, so we don't want to really implement printf okay every time okay we are using uh, we have to display some output we don't want uh, to write the code okay so we directly call printf function okay and uh, the printf return type is an integer so that means what will printf return so printf will return how many characters it has printed on the screen so for example as an example i'll show you so for example uh, in this case right i want to find out uh, 
how many characters were printed on the screen. So hello is a string, okay, it is printing hello. So how many characters hello has? It has one, two, three, four, five, okay. So when it is executing line number 18, it is printing how many statements? It is, uh, sorry, it is uh, printing how many characters on the screen when it is executing line number 18. So it will uh, print hello, right? So it will print five characters. So the return, okay, return type, okay, of this printf function, okay, will be what? It will be five, okay, so this will return five. So if I say, if I store the output, so this is a function, right, whatever value, so it is, in, it is returning integer, right? So whatever value it is going to store, right, I can store it inside, say, result. So I take a variable int result and I store whatever printf is returning, I am storing it in integer variable result and now let me print f the value of result so you should see that value of result is person d okay backslash n and comma result okay so what 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 we, what we have done is that we have taken a variable result okay of integer type whatever uh, this printf is executing okay so this printf is printing something on the screen uh, and what we want to do is what is the return value of this printf function that we are storing in result and then we are printing the value of result so since this printf will be printing hello and hello has five characters okay five characters it is printing so the result should store five okay so let's save our program let's clear the console and let's run our program Okay, so you're seeing value of result is equal to 24. So why did this happen? Okay, catch. Okay, so why it is 24? So 24 is because, uh, as we already discussed, right, it will not print just hello. It is also printing this, right, the value of A is, okay. So actually it is printing everything that is inside the double quotes, right. So inside the double quotes is the space value space of space a is equal to percent s and then there are some more spaces and then backslash n. So everything okay that it is printing okay uh, okay that will be treated as uh, like uh, that will be there in the result. So let's count okay so in the value of a is hello how many are there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it's 21 till here. And then there are a few spaces here, okay? So that will also be counted, okay? And then there is a backslash n. So that means, oh sorry, what happened? Yeah, so uh, there must be like two spaces, okay? Uh, and then there must be a backslash n. So three of these, okay? So 21 plus three, 24. So if I had written something like this, right, so let's say I remove this much, okay, and I remove backslash n also, okay, and now let me save my program, clear, run now, okay, so now you see the hello, uh, the value of result is equal to 5, okay, so this has happened because uh, what has happened is we are not using a backslash n here, right, uh, in line number 18. So since there's no, no new line, uh, it is printing hello, and then it is directly printing value of result is equal to this, right? So now, but uh, you see, right, this printf is getting executed, and uh, it is printing hello, okay? So it's printing this hello, and number of characters that were printed are five, so the value of result is equal to person D, so this is so showing the value of result is equal to five. So this is how, but if I place a backslash n here, I save my program, clear and now let me run it so now you see the value of result is 7 why it is 7 because we printed hello okay which is 5 characters then there is a space okay see line number 18 so we have printed hello using percent s then there was a space and then there was a backslash n okay so the space and the backslash n okay they are two extra characters so 5 plus 2 7 so that's how uh, we use printf okay uh, in our regular coding and uh, it's like it's very frequently used okay so it's you can't do without printf and this is how you basically display the output any kind of output integer string float okay text anything that you have to display 
you can use printf okay in your code uh, and the best part of printf is okay when you have okay some errors in your code okay a lot of errors are there in your code then you can place a printf okay and print all the values okay you can place a printf okay suppose uh, there is a variable okay say uh, int a is equal to 10 okay let's say and then i did an a minus minus okay suppose i or oh, let's say like this a is equal to a minus 1 okay and then i did a is equal to a plus 1 okay and then i am printing the value of a okay print f percent d okay the value of a so suppose okay we have a code like this okay then in this particular case what will happen is that okay sometimes okay what might happen is we want to figure out okay so this code will be very simple but okay uh, generally what will happen is we want to figure out okay what is the value okay at line number 22 so when this statement is executed what is the value what is the value after 25 is executed okay so in that case okay you can place the printfs okay here you place a printf okay and check what was the value of a okay before this operation was done what was the value of a before this operation was done what is the value of a after this operation was done so this way okay what will happen is you will be able to find out okay if there is any error okay suppose this statement okay is creating some problem or this statement line number 25 is creating some problem we will know okay because we are printing the value of a at each step okay at every operation that we are performing we are printing the value so this is how okay just an example i'm giving you how okay you can use printf okay for debugging uh, so we'll uh, see uh, more on this later uh, so thanks for watching uh, and please do like share and subscribe to the channel uh, see you in the next video bye